Vietnam. The Vietnam. We don't want your stinking wars. We don't want your stinking wars. Bring our troops back to our shores. Bring our troops back to our shores. Am I right or wrong? You're right. Are we weak or strong? We're strong. Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three, four. Bring it on down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thank you. proud salute to all my sisters and brothers of VPAW for 50 years of service to our country. That grouping of saying specifically that an Iraq veteran against the war, but want to work on, you know, take up this work of anti-militarism, anti-war, that, you know, um, was inspired through the work of VPAW that they can present themselves, um, you know, wholeheartedly in a group that, like, speaks to their um, turning for militarism, which, you know, uh, I guess not to sound too corny, but taking that about face. Bunch of guys of VBA, those guys met me at the airport so I could make it to my next plane without getting busted by the two FBI agents that were on the plane. I was part of a diversionary group a couple weeks later in Manhattan. We did a demonstration outside the Manhattan VA while the administrator of the director's office was being taken over on 25th Street and 7th Avenue. George Bush at one point was UN ambassador. Remember that? Remember Nixon? And it seems they were going to debate Vietnam at the United Nations. And a few of us thought, oh, we should have him talk to Vietnam veterans. But he wouldn't talk to Vietnam veterans. Good Lord, we talked to him for days. I think what Danny yelled was, if you don't talk to the Vietnam veterans, the blood of the people who will die will be on your head. And I believe the next thing that happened was blood flying through the air.